3 Golden Eagles for War Thunder. Link in the description. Hello you sex beasts, welcome back to War Thunder. This is a T32, an American 7.3 battle rating rank 4 heavy tank. Yes, you heard that right, rank 4 and 7.3. We'll go into the reasons why this BR is so high or why it may be just a little bit too high in a second. Now, T32 is a rather interesting machine, however it has a couple of problems. Now. The gun featured on this thing is a 90mm T15E2 cannon, if I'm not mistaken, which is the evolution of the cannon that you get on the Super Pershing. This is a very long barreled version of the, uh, 90, of the American 90mm cannon, which um, has very high muzzle velocity for all of its shells, even the HE shell gets like 975m per second muzzle velocity. However, it also compensates for having a very, very lengthy reload. The reload on this thing uh, can range anywhere between 14.5 uh, with a fully upgraded crew to 18.9 seconds. This is comparable to the T10M's uh, 122 mm cannon, which is slightly faster than the reload of that thing. On a 90 mm gun. We got another here. Alongside that you also get a 12.7mm machine gun on the top of a tank, which can be used to shoot down aircraft and lightly armored targets such as AA trucks and stuff like that. And you also get a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun which can be used to spot targets. Which can be very, very useful. Now the overall gun handling itself is very, very, very good. The turret rotates at uh, 24 degrees per second in my current uh, configuration. The vertical uh, guidance is between negative 10 and plus 20 degrees, which means that in classical American tank fashion you can uh, crest hills and use the gun depression to shoot at targets that, uh, that you couldn't do in, for example, a Soviet tank. And also get uh, a travel time of between uh, 2.8 to 4 degrees per second on the vertical. Which is not the best, but still enough to deal with uh, fast reactionary shots. Now, the real selling point of this tank is the armor, which gives it the heavy tank designation. Now, the hull armor itself isn't all that good. You get about 200mm uh, of effective armor on the upper plate and 150mm on the lower plate. This is nowhere near heavy tanks level, especially at this tier. Um, however, <laughs> the turret of this thing is absolutely amazing. Now, 152mm on the sides and rear, with the front of the turret having 300mm of armor. This thing, hold down, is almost impenetrable by anything that isn't top tier APDS and heat FS shells. But there's where the problems of the BR come in. Since this, since this thing is a 7.3 tank, and there aren't many other 7.3 tanks in the game, more often than not you'll find you'll uh, find yourself in top tier battles, facing off against uh, Soviet T10Ms, T54s, the German Maus, and even Leopards. And every single one of those tanks has something that you don't. Now the biggest drawback of this tank is, in conjunction with the reload rate, the ammo choices. The stock ammo choice is a solid AP shell, which does have no explosive filler and only has 217mm of penetration. Now given the muscle velocity is very high, 975mm uh, meter per second, which gives us um, incredible accuracy over ranges. However, since you only get 217mm of penetration, at this tier there is there aren't many tanks that, that you can actually penetrate. Leopards, maybe, but... <laughs> Other than that, you're going to struggle against T-54s, T-10Ms, don't even think about shooting at a T-10M. From the front, from the sides, you can't. Especially the mouse. You saw my engagement with the mouse early and uh, this mouse here as well. I just can't penetrate this guy from the front. 
Alongside with the uh, stock AP HE shell, you also get a HE shell, which is the same muzzle velocity, which is actually extremely high for an HE shell and can be used to snipe soft targets from long ranges. The first unlockable shell is the AP HE shell, which has 204mm of penetration at close ranges, the same 975mm uh, per second muzzle velocity, and 140 gram of explosive filler. Now, the penetration is even worse than the, sto than the stock solid AP shell, so, so you are going to penetrate even less things. Even the mouse here, against the back of the turret, against the side of the turret, you just can't penetrate with the AP HE shell. Now, in theory, since you do get 140mm uh, gram of TNT, in theory, once it penetrates, the shell should do massive damage. However, I found myself not really being able to take advantage of that. I don't know what it is with this shell, but it isn't quite the new cannon it used to be. Back in the day, a couple of months ago, a couple of patches ago, the American 90mm guns were absolutely amazing due to the explosive, due to the, due to the explosive filler on the 90mm guns. They one-shotted everything. This thing for some reason doesn't. I don't know exactly what is wrong with the shell, but it just doesn't do the damage that it is supposed to do. Finally, the last unlockable shell is the APCR shell, which has 270mm of penetration, trickling down to 195mm. Now, in theory, this does help somewhat, but due to the na nature of APCR not really handling angled armor too well, and also losing its penetration very quickly over ranges, and even so, 270mm of penetration is not the best there is at this tier. You are just going to struggle penetrating anything. Anything you face. Now this gameplay was really quite short. <laughs> Even though we didn't get a single kill, we got a lot of assists and, uh, well, engagements against mouse tanks, which, you, which we just couldn't penetrate. Even aiming at the turret ring, aiming at the back of the turret, aiming at the side of the tank, you just can't penetrate anything with the, T50, uh, with the um, T32, which is a problem. Now, there's one thing that I didn't quite note, uh, that I didn't quite mention, which is the mobility of this tank. The top speed is only 35 kilometers per hour, which isn't stellar, but you get a good power to rate ratio due to the uh, very good engine and the actually not too heavy tank, which means that you can actually use this thing more like a medium tank than a heavy tank. You have very good um, acceleration from the spot and you also have very good hull traverse. Even when moving around this thing can just do a, a 180 and uh, point its gun right back. For these reasons, for the mobility combined with the good turret armor and the absolutely awful gun, this, this, is honestly, this honestly has to be one of the worst guns at this tier, if not the worst gun at this tier, I suggest a medium tank playstyle. Don't use it like a heavy tank. From the front, you're just going to struggle penetrating anything. And whilst you can uh, bounce a lot of shots as long as you hold down, that's the, really the, the important thing about the tank, just don't show your hole. What's the point of that if you can't get any kills? Try and get to the flanks, try and use that uh, turret armor still, try to hide your hole, but try to, go, to, shoot, to get shot at the, si at the sides of enemy tanks. So, for the pros and cons, for the pros, we have a very mobile tank, which is awesome turret armor, good gun handling, a very good muzzle velocity, which aids in accuracy over long ranges, and, of course, the 12.7mm machine gun on the top, which can be used against aircraft and to spot over, well, over um, obstacles in the road. However, it isn't really a heavy tank. Although the heavy tank designation provides some trouble, especially in RB battles, since it's a heavy tank, you will have to sacrifice a lot of spawn points. And you might find yourself in a situation where you have a lot of points, but you just can't spawn in again with the T32. Because, well, it just costs so much to respawn. The gun is also absolutely awful. Even though the handling is very good, the, the reload is just too long, it doesn't do any damage, and there's very, very low penetration. The 7.3 battle rating is just completely overkill for this thing. I can understand somewhat why, because I've played this tank when it first came out and it was absolutely amazing. The gun, whilst not being the best thing around, was still very effective against uh, tanks of its own tier. But the turret armor was absolutely impenetrable by anything. Nothing could penetrate the turret armor. So they had to upgrade the battle rating because people would just complain about the T32 being OP. And now it's 
it can't really do anything. And the fun thing is, since, uh, since it now just constantly faces top tier tanks with heat FS and APDS shells, the turret armor isn't that important anymore because those just go straight through that. So, you you got shafted on both ends. Anyways, this has been it for this video. You can vote for the next tank in the info card on the top right corner. I'm not quite sure what the uh, video on Saturday will be, but I might, I might actually be doing a stream tomorrow, so on Friday, if you're watching this on Thursday. So watch out for that, I might actually do a live stream. Anyways, like, leave a like rating if you've enjoyed this video, subscribe if you're new around here, and my name is Michael Zboom. Thanks for watching. You can lift your head up to the sky Take a deeper breath and give it time You can walk the path among the lines With your shattered frame of mind Wish that you could always stay We can wait right here and play Until somehow you can find A slightly better frame of mind